My name is Jen Hurley, and I am the Pattern Production Director at Brooklyn Tweed. So my day-to-day -day at Brooklyn Tweed really varies. Um, I'm responsible for setting the schedules for all of our pattern collection timelines. So I might be um, working in OmniPlan and, and setting up schedules for collections coming out year, year and a half away from now. I might be pattern proofing, so reviewing um, our developed patterns and uh, looking for any layout issues or copy edits to make before we make our final versions that'll go out for publication. We have a two-person pattern department, so there's myself and then Liz Smith, and she is our knitwear coordinator. So Liz works with all of our designers, is our main designer contact, um, and then also with all of our sample knitters, make sure that all the samples are getting knit up, assesses the samples when they come in, and then she works very closely with Jared Flood on um, all of our pattern shoots. So all of our photography, um, preparing for the photo shoots, so outside of our internal team, I work with all of our off-site um, contractors on the pattern development. And those people include our core tech editors um, who take the patterns written by our designers and polish them up, put them in Brooklyn Tweed format and style, um, check that everything is factually correct. Um, and then we also have counter editors who work off-site who go through our patterns and are looking for technical details. And then internally we have two people who proof our patterns. And then I also work very closely with Caitlin Lohman, who is our graphic designer. And Caitlin is responsible for all of our um, pattern layouts and making them into their beautiful polished form. For pattern proofing, uh, we have a multi-page checklist uh, that we can work off of. But really what we're primarily looking for are layout issues, but also making sure that the pattern uh, reads well to the knitter. I started knitting probably 25 or so years ago. I tried once in college from a, um, a pamphlet from the grocery store and I got the knit stitch. I couldn't figure out the purl. One of the college secretaries showed me how to purl, but she actually did it backwards, uh, which so I, I just kind of gave up. But I ended up uh, a few years later after college and some girlfriends and I, um, we'd all been away for the winter break. And when we all came back, uh, we magically had all decided we all wanted to knit. So we started a little knitting group. And um, there was a, a TV show on at the time and um, they would all come over to my house every week on Wednesdays and we would watch um, Party of Five together as we knitted our first scarves. It just took off from there. I just, I find it very meditative but also my main creative outlet for making beautiful things for um, either myself or the people who I, who I love and cherish. I didn't really start thinking about the fiber I was working with until I think starting to go to more fiber festivals and talking with vendors who were bringing their own hand spun to sell and um, who were able to share the stories of the yarn and the sheep and the breed that was what really what got me thinking about uh, the fiber behind um, the material that I was working with.